Everyone's moisture content that they put into their bagpipe as they play is different. Some people can be very dry blowers, some people can be very wet blowers. So this system allows you to find out where you're at and to adjust it so that it plays for you personally. Just because the guy next to you plays his system a certain way doesn't mean that's the way you should be playing yours due to the fact of moisture content that you're putting into the actual instrument. There are a couple of ways to control the amount of moisture that goes to individual components of your bagpipe, be it your channer or your drones. One is to control the amount of drying agent that's in the individual uh, slots in the canister. A lot of people like the fact that they can take out a, a great deal of the drying agent out of the channer stock because for the most part we are playing cane reeds. The cane needs a certain amount of moisture. Some people find that by having that, can, that canister slot filled it takes away too much moisture and you kind of starve your chanter reed from the proper moisture to keep the reed functioning at its, uh, at its right level. So one of the ways to control the moisture going to the individual components on the bagpipe is to remove some of the drying agent from the canister according to which channer base, tenors, depending on which one you want the moisture go to. Another feature to the Ross canister system is a vent on the actual outlet port that allows you to let fresh air or moist air go to, through to the reeds. That is located on these colored dials whereas you can spin these around and you will actually see how you have a, you're opening up the vent allowing fresh air or moist air to go all the way through to the channer or all the way through to the base. If you find that you're playing your channer and it's too wet, you can come back through and you can dial down this and find the happy spot where your channer plays at its right level and gets the right amount of moisture for, for playing performance. When beginning a practice and the channer reed happens to be dry, one of the tricks is to come in and actually just open up the air vent to a full setting, allowing full complement of moisture to get to your channer reed. After 15-20 minutes, you can unzip your pipe bag, come right in here, turn that down or dial it down to your level, and at that point your channer will level off and play at a consistent level uh, assigned for your particular type of playing. But it leaves you the option to break in reeds with a full complement of moisture or to play dry if your, your reeds are getting too wet. Another tip when using the Ross canister system is to not leave the canister in the pipe bag when you're not playing or the pipes are stored in the pipe case. It will dry out the whole instrument. It'll dry out the hemp lines, the reeds, and this is not good for the overall well-being of the actual bagpipe. So when you're done playing, it's important to come in, remove this, let your bag and pipes dry out naturally, and then try to store your canisters outside of the actual pipe case. Many pipe cases have outer covers. It's good to have them away from the actual instrument so the instrument has its natural moisture left in it and it's not totally dried out. Because of the dust and chips involved in the drying agent, it's important that once or twice a year you break down your full instrument and either vacuum out or clean out the hoses and all the dust and chips that are, are remain inside pipe, case, uh, pipe bags. I've seen over the years some very, very untidy pipe cases and pipe bags that were full of the drying agent. And again, you're risking the uh, opportunity for chips and dust to affect the actual playing performance of your reeds. These hoses have a quick release on them, so at any point you can un, un, counterclockwise unscrew the, the hoses, take them out, rinse them, dry them out, making sure that there is no dust or debris left in the actual bagpipe system, playing system. It may become necessary to dry out your canister material between plays. Uh, that's why it's quite, very important to have two canisters with you at all times. If you're playing and your bagpipe gets overloaded with moisture, you can change out and put a fresh canister in and dry the whole system out, um, allowing you to play for longer periods of time. 
most people find that just taking a canister out and allowing it to dry at room temperature dries the, the uh, drying agent out enough to, to play again the next day. If it becomes necessary to actually dry it out beyond that, what uh, many people do is you take the actual canister itself and we're going to take and dump out the actual drying agent onto a plate, paper plate or microwave safe plate, and you can microwave the rocks for a good two minutes up to three minutes. You will notice moisture on the in inside wall of the microwave when you get done and that's all the moisture that you're drawing out of the actual drying agent. Those rocks will be extremely hot when you bring them out of the microwave, so be very careful about it. When you pull them out, just let them sit for 20 minutes to a half hour and let them dry or uh, cool down on their own before putting them back into the canister. You can melt the plastic on a canister with rocks that are going back in that are too hot. But again, it, you can uh, microwave from two to three minutes on high or you can use an actual broiler oven in a broiling pan and dry it out there. All these things are things you have to do on your own. Find out exactly what works best for you. The Ross canister system is a very, very effective way to control the amount of moisture that goes to each individual drone or channer on, on our bagpipe. There's a little bit of work or due diligence that the bagpiper needs to stay up on when it comes to drying the material and keeping it dust free and making sure that all the hoses are in good shape and there are no kinks in any of the hoses because of the way we have jammed it into our pipe box. So there's some things that we have to do on our own part, but long term it's, it's a very, very effective way to control the amount of moisture that goes to your, your reeds and your bagpipe.